big boost for CSX stock this morning. It's approach for a potential takeout, and now it's the subject of today's merger talk. So as part of the deal, it could create a $62 billion company. Canadian Pacific reportedly, according to the Wall Street Journal, approached CSX about this deal, but the company was willing to walk away. They weren't looking for a transaction, despite the fact that the stock is only up 4% this year, and CSX has to report earnings tomorrow. So the last big uh, deal among railroad operators came in 2010 when Berkshire Hathaway uh, spent about $26 billion on Burlington Santa Fe. And this year so far we've seen a lot of uh, deals, M&A volume in terms of total deal value is up a lot. Uh, looking at U.S. targeted M&A, that's up almost 50% year to date. Um, uh, to 1.3 trillion this year so far. A uh, number of factors are contributing to these volumes we're seeing, in addition to really low interest rates, healthy equity markets, and, and shareholder activism. We've really seen a return of confidence among CEOs and companies who are making smart, creative deals and being rewarded for making these deals in the equity markets. All right, and it's a great time for, for Canadian specific. Pacific specifically to be looking at a potential transaction. Their stock is up 25%, which means that they could potentially use that to boost a bit. But also right now, the natural energy boom here in the U.S. is going to be what's drive both of these companies' shares up. Once we see CSX report earnings tomorrow, we may have a better window into this company either needs to consider a merger or needs to consider an entirely new strategy. And so while Warren Buffett hasn't been looking uh, to make any railway deals this year so far, he has been keeping his eye on car sales. Uh, we saw him ink a deal earlier this month uh, to buy auto, or excuse me, Van Toil Group, uh, which is America's fifth largest auto dealership. All right, and obviously the CSX Canadian Pacific deal, not necessarily guaranteed to happen. They may not even go for it, but if they do, the U.S. Service Transportation Board has been known to shoot down these mega deals. And again, this could be one of the biggest deals all time in the railroad industry. That's it for today's Deal Talk, but we're going to have more on this deal as we continue to watch it.